Today is chess day. Actually, it's international chess day. So it's gonna be really busy in the gym today, guys. So I'm gonna give you guys a free tip here. So when you go into the gym and you can't find a bench because all the benches are taking and that's what you wanna do, you're gonna walk up to the biggest guy that's benching and you tell him, yo, get out the way, this is my bench. And then he's gonna move and then usually they'll wipe down the bench for you and then you're good to go, you'll have your bench. So that's, <laughs> actually don't do that guys. That's the worst thing you can do. Just be a nice guy, wait your turn and you'll get a bench. So anyway, today we're gonna do four chest exercises. We're going to do three barbell exercises and one dumbbell exercise. We're gonna go for four sets of 10 to 12 reps, give or take. Um, but here's your workout, here you go. All right, so I was able to find a bench, and the first exercise we're gonna do is a bench press. I like to keep my feet planted on the ground, and keep your shoulder blades kind of retracted back into the bench. That'll help you push the bar easier. And then you take the bar, when I bring it down on the bottom of the movement, I bring it just a little below my chest. And we're gonna do a pyramid. So I'm gonna start out, I start out with a weight that I could easily do 12 reps with. Then I bumped up the weight a little bit to a weight that I could do 10 reps. And then I did my third set with the same weight. And then I dropped it back down on my last um, set. So we did four sets of 10 to 12 reps on the bench press. In the next exercise, I jumped into the incline bench press. So we did four sets of 10 to 12 reps. So I started out with that weight, 10 reps. It was a little bit heavy for me because I was tired from the bench press. And I dropped the weight down so I could finish out the rest of my sets to get at least 10 reps in. And here again, I'm keeping my feet planted on the ground. The bar is a little bit shoulder width apart. And then also with this, so I don't injure my shoulders, I keep my elbows kind of tucked a little bit. You can't really tuck them when you're holding the bar, but as if you're bending the bar. And that way your shoulders aren't, or your shoulders and your elbows aren't flared out and that'll help protect from injury. And at the bottom of the movement, I just let it barely touch my chest and push it back up. Okay, the third exercise we're gonna do is a decline bench press. And I like to do this last because it puts all the tension, most of the tension is on your chest here and less on your shoulders and your arms. And I bring the bar just again below my chest. That's where I, I like it, so I feel like I'm working my chest more. And again, we did four, I did four sets of 10 to 12 reps. So I start out with a lighter weight, bumped it up a little bit, and then I think I did my last, or my second and third set with this weight, and then I dropped it back down for the last set to get at least 10 reps in. All right, the last exercise is just the finisher. So find an, a bench that you can set at a 45 degree angle. And then I like to stand up a little bit, push my back up higher on the bench. Um, so at the bottom of this movement, it's a fly. I just have a better range of motion here. And I'm, I, I like to go back as far as I can just to stretch the upper peck out and then at the top of the movement when I bring the dumbbells together I like to squeeze and I just did four sets of 10 to 12 reps I kept it at the same weight which was a light weight because my chest was pretty much done at this point and I like to try to bring the weights a little bit behind my head just being careful, I don't hurt or pull my shoulder. But this will really work the upper chest. And that's the workout.